In this video, we will backtest the simple moving average strategy on Bitcoin using Python. If you wanted to learn how to backtest your own strategies, hypotheses using Python, this video is for you. If you wondered how profitable the simple moving average strategy is, you can also backtest this with Python. So what we have here is we have OHLC data on Bitcoin. I have a ready CSV file that I have now loaded into a pandas data frame and I've also calculated the simple wing average for a period 200 and to do that in pandas you just have to add a window of 200 and calculate the mean and here we have the simple wing average if we scroll down we can see the historical prices of Bitcoin and I also plotted the simple wing average next to it so we see that Bitcoin has been ranging uh, at the end of 2019 to 2020 and then uh, at the start of the year 2021 uh, Bitcoin prices increased very rapidly and now we are in a period of retracement again so the markets are ranging so this is what we can see from the chart and let's see how uh, we can test our hypothesis if the moving average strategy is profitable, if the strategy is profitable or not, and to do that, I will define a very simple strategy. So let's say whenever price crosses above the simple moving average, we will buy, and whenever price crosses below the moving average, uh, we will uh, close our positions. So that is a very simple strategy, and for that, we first need to define. Uh, moving average cross and to define that uh, I have a function here that takes the price the previous price and the simple moving average as inputs and <clears throat> it is very easy to check if there is a cross of the simple moving average so the first condition is that the current price must be above the simple moving average and the previous price is below the moving average so for example if we look at this cross here we can see that here this price is above the moving average but the previous price here or actually here was below the moving average so this is an indication of the cross so if this uh, statement uh, holds true then we return true otherwise it's false so to define the previous open we just have to check the previous price so to do that uh, we will just use shift in pandas to check the previous value and we are calculating the simple moving average using the open prices so now we will use uh, numpy.vectorize to calculate uh, the SMA cross so we just add the function here on all our necessary inputs right so we need the current price previous price and the simple moving average and uh, here we add the series df open DF previous open and DF SMA 200 and now if we filter out uh, the SMA crosses that are true we see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 crosses um, that happened Bitcoin between um, between 2019 and 2021 and I have plotted this uh, the, uh, the crosses on the chart these are the gray lines here so let's check it if our calculation is true so you see that this seems to be a cross even though this is very very tiny but it still counts as a cross so this would be a loss unfortunately then we have a cross here here and of course we see a very good cross here so this is the cross and then it rallied up um, until 63,000 then it retraced back down here so here we would sell then we see some false uh, uh, signals as well but this can be backtested using uh, backtesting in Python so to create a backtest we will simply create a class uh, position that takes a simple arguments such as open time open price volume and then when we exit the position we can then set values such as close time close price and calculate the profit as well so here I created a very simple backtest so I'm iterating through the historical data row by row 
and so the entry strategy for the SMA cross is if the uh, if we have the SMA cross that is true right so if this table right SMA cross if the cross here is true we buy and when we buy let's say we uh, buy for a current time right at the current price and we buy one unit uh, of uh, Bitcoin and this one unit is representing uh, a value in dollars so let's say we're, we're actually buying one dollar worth of Bitcoin every time we get this entry signal and the exit strategy <coughs> uh, has a similar logic so if uh, the current price right is below the SMA this is a signal to close our open positions so we are iterating through our open positions if we have any and if there are any open positions we just set the close time to the current time the close price to the current price and then we set the status of that position to closed then we generate a data frame of positions so we've opened 10 positions on Bitcoin throughout this period and to show the results we see uh, st slowly losing slowly losing but then we caught a very very good trade and then now we are slowly losing again why is that if we go down and plot the positions uh, on the chart we see that we've caught this Bitcoin rally with our moving average strategy so this is one very big winner otherwise when the market is ranging such as here and here uh, the strategy is not performing very well so we can zoom uh, closer uh, we can zoom closer here and we see that here we have very uh, you know uh, we have a, a, a signal and then quickly after that price closed below the moving average again so this is causing uh, very small losses and again uh, we can also check this period right so we cross above and then now we close again below above below so we have these uh, signals that generates generate small losses but uh, on Bitcoin we can see that this one big profit which is basically a trend following strategy is make up is making up for all these losses uh, I would like to have a disclaimer of course that we are not taking into account any trading commissions any swaps that may be charged for holding uh, the position and that Bitcoin does not necessarily have to move like that in the future but we see that in for the period 2019 and 2021 trend following strategy on Bitcoin was very successful so if you also have a trend following bias on Bitcoin then the SMA strategy might be something for you so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please feel, feel free to ask in the comments and i will be coming back with another, another analysis bye